Hello Wargamers, um, welcome back to another Tabletop Banter video. Um, in today's video I'm going to show you some really cool 50mm uh, uh, scale miniatures that I've just bought. Uh, now I did just video a whole unboxing and my microphone was broken, um, so it's super sketchy. So uh, rather than do an unboxing, what I'll do is I'll just show the units one at a time, um, so you can kind of get an idea for, for what there is. Um, apologies that it's not an actual unboxing, like I say. I did just record one, but the audio quality was so shit, it wasn't worth sharing. Um, and on that note, Let's take a look at the terribly dirty cutting mat. And here they are. Uh, 15 millimeter um, miniatures of the World War II variety. Now you can see, obviously, I've had a flick through some of these already. Um, and these in particular are Japanese infantrymen. Now, if I can find the Flames of War box that they were just in, they are the Hohei Platoon um, box from Flames of War, which is produced by uh, Battlefront Miniatures Limited. Now, these was it's £17 for all of this. Um, all pewter, all monopose, all a little bit on the bendy bayonet side, but that's fine, I can fix those. Um, now, I think you get something like 38 or 32 guys, normal dudes, some mortars and some like HQ style looking chaps, um, which is really cool, very exciting. Uh, and what that means is Harry and I will be able to play 15 millimeter scale Bolt action. So I'm not actually starting Flames of War, I'm using their miniatures range to facilitate a small bolt action style force. A couple of reasons for this. One, things look better on round bases than clumped bases, um, especially sort of this clumped, I just don't like this, I'm just not a fan of whatever that is. Um, it can not do that. If I... uh, so yes, put them on rounds, which would be really cool. Um, means you can kind of create a bit more um, sort of theatre with the basing in some ways uh, per model rather than per unit um, and then it'll allow sort of like I say a couple of different game systems rather than just Flames of War. For me the primary reason I, I bought these models and wanted to do this fort is because uh, I want an army to sit on a cabinet. I might play with it once or twice a year but I really fancied a small 15mm scale historical army to sit on a cabinet. World War II is something quite interesting. There's plenty of game systems if I do want a game uh, and um, and Harry's bang into it as well, so it was kind of a no-brainer. Now I've gone for the Japanese um, sort of or Imperial Japanese Army uh, sort of style is my plan. Um, now I can't promise they'll be the most historically accurately painted models. I'm going to go for the rough colours, but I'm not going I'm not going to nitpick over shades of beige because life's too short and I'm not boring. Well, I am. I am. I'm just not boring in that way. But life is really too short to get caught up about which tone of beige that the arm, arm uh, the uh, the rags need to be. So, so um, this won't be the most historically accurate. Um, and also, you can tell I'm taking it super seriously and historically accurate by the title of this video, which is the JDM Brigade. Um, now, uh, the the motoring side of Japanese culture is particularly interesting to me, um, and so I've kind of let that bleed into the the miniatures game a little. Um, and also, I've never, I didn't want to do Brits or Americans because I've kind of done stuff like that in the past and just ran out of steam because I don't know, maybe it was a bit same same. Um, so I wanted to do something totally different, and so Japanese infantry it was. And now the idea for this is this has probably got well, I don't know three, four, five different unit choices in here um, uh, worth of miniatures, and I can just do some crazy fun stuff. You know, I've got some prone dudes which are basically snipers. Um, now the actual miniature cast its quality is decent. A uh, bit disappointed by the number of bendy bayonets, but it's kind of be, to be expected from pewter, to be honest with you. It's quite a soft, malleable material. So, um, yeah, the actual quality of detail is brilliant, like pouches and everything on there. It's, it's, it's awesome. I'm looking forward to painting them, to be fair. Um, and I wanted something I could paint up quickly. Uh, so uh, everything will just get a base coat and an agrax. Um, now, the other thing I bought with this uh, thing here, you may have seen this on the side, is, is a tank. But it's not any old tank. It's a tankette. It's a Type 95 Hago, um, which I have the, here we go, the little card thing that came with it in the Flames of War box. Um, it's a resin cast centerpiece, which is a little unusual. Uh, and then metallic um, tank wraps. No, tracks. Oh, my Lord. It's been a long day. Uh, I am filming this at the end of a work day, uh, quite late in the end of the work day. So not really, just late enough for me to be tired. Anyway. Tank traps, resin body, and then some cool metal sort of like um, hatches and aerials and a little tank commander um, who is quite large because this is a tankette. So it's a very, very small tank. Um, incredibly adorable. 
and will look nice rolling alongside some uh, Japanese infantrymen, I think. Now, as I mentioned, the idea for me is to do a big sort of, I say big, big hang on, big um, force. 1,500 bolt action points, there or thereabouts. But I just want to populate a shelf in the cabinet, really. Um, that's kind of my end goal. Now, I've auto ordered a pair of howitzers, but they're on back order, so they won't be with me for a little while yet. Um, however, when they do arrive, you can bet I may or may not do an unboxing video of them, um, just like I have with these. Um, that's about it, really. I didn't want to dwell too long. Um, so I'm just going to go back to me uh, and say thanks for, for watching and all that. You know, Like and subscribe, the usual spiel. Um, drop some comments below if you want to see Harry and his uh, Germans because he is doing a particularly niche German force, which will be really interesting. I look forward to seeing that and how that develops. I think he is absolutely buzzing uh, for this, to be fair, uh, whereas I am just regular buzzing. I really look forward to starting, but 15mm um, round bases, I haven't ordered any yet. I'm waiting to see how Harry gets on with them. And then I'll make an order or something. But that's it. I just wanted to introduce you to a new upcoming project. Hopefully uh, you'll see Harry and mine's. Wow, that was terrible. <laughs> Mine and Harry's. Uh, I won't edit that out because I can't be bothered. Hopefully you'll see mine and Harry's grow uh, up to be these nice collections of historical 15mm miniatures that can be used for various games, but we will probably be using for bolt action primarily. Um, a super catchy series name. And on that note, thank you very much. I'll possibly see you again sometime, maybe. Um, if not, uh, thanks for watching anyway. And have a nice day, I suppose. That would be a nice way to end it, wouldn't it? Have a nice day.